Hey guys, today we are at the Red Rocket on my Raider playthrough, and this is the first settlement that the pack have taken over since entering the Commonwealth, just to gain a foothold. They'll be using this to push deeper into the Commonwealth as they try to take over. As you can see, I've surrounded the settlement with junk barricades and Raider paraphernalia. Um, basically, I just stacked some cars on top of each other and pushed a bunch of junk up against those fences or barricades um, just to make it look a little more secure. And let's take a look around back, shall we? Here we have the prisoner cages. You can see here I have a settler assigned in this cage um, to an animation mat. And it works just like a guard post. You assign the settler to it, they perform the animation, adds a little variety to the different animations you can have going on in your settlement. Um, here we have another one, guy leaning against the uh, back wall there, not having such a good time. And that brings us to the settlement butcher. Uh, you can see here he's working at a butcher stand, and I added a few uh, bones and a hanging body there as well. Uh, the cool thing about that butcher stand is it actually produces food, so you can have less farmers. I think I only have about... 15 settlers here and only one farmer so that's kind of neat here we have the workshop area coming off the back of the red rocket building and just put down a few workshops decorated it up with some thematic and practical assets um, same with the covered patio here went ahead and decorated the table up you have some alcohol and some chems and you know typical raider assets here we have a area for meats as well as some hanging bodies that are draining into this basin. Um, some of the raiders here are cannibals and you're actually going to see that as the overboss is also a cannibal so there are cannibals amongst his ranks and I thought this was a great place to just contain all of that. Now that brings us to another lounging area. Um, we have cooking station off in the corner, as well as a place to sit and do some chems by the fire. Um, this cooking station is actually pretty cool. It produces four food. Um, I don't remember which mod that's from, but I will put a link to it down in the description. Here we have a half blown up bus that's currently being used for storage. Um, you can see there's some you know chems and some alcohol and whatnot and then the other end of this leads out to the bar I kind of built this out of mostly vanilla assets um, there are some modded assets in there um, there is a little bit of clipping but you can barely tell so not overly concerned here we have a chunk barricade up against the road and if you're uh, interested in how I put that together I do have a video describing that um, it's on the channel here is a cooking station that produces food I think I have one other one um, somewhere else I'll show you guys in a little bit we have two shacks um, residential shacks you can see this guy here has some chemicals and plants for making chems and on this side, we have my favorite chair in the game, the ghoul chair. Looks a little weird sitting in it, but it's a pretty cool chair. Now this walkway um, was put together with just the regular floorboards. And then I put the plywood boards on top, kind of gives it a more of a junky look. And this other shack here is mostly thematic and practical furniture. That's just a great mod. That will also have a link in the description. Uh, I encourage you to download it and endorse that mod author. It's pretty awesome. Here we are back outside. And uh, you can see these barrels here over by the uh, cages actually produce water for the settlement. So they fill with water when it rains and keep me from having to have water purifiers all over the settlement. Head up the steps here to the bar. You can see some uh, OC decorator decorations along the bar there and over here we have a patio with a great view of Concord 
some more thematic and practical seating and a table. Well, let's check out the uh, main entrance now. So here we are at the main entrance. As you can see, there's the two ends of both the junk barricades I built, providing a nice little entryway off the main road. Here in the corner, we have another cooking station that also provides food for the settlement. Um, with all of those cooking stations, as well as the butcher station, and the one farmer pr provides enough food to feed, I believe it's 15, at this settlement. Going inside the bus here, you can see another residential area. And this guy clearly misses home with the Nuka-Cola on the ground, as well as um, Nuka-Cola on the uh, table there at the end. As you can see, the human remains there, raiders really love decorating with uh, bones and whatnot. And this guy clearly has some tools for cutting bone, and he's definitely the artist of the group. Now I tried to keep the decoration fairly minimal out here. I didn't want it to look too cluttered, uh, especially since I kept most of the junk that was in this settlement still here. I didn't want to scrap a lot of it. You know, raiders aren't going to clean up. And you'll see the same thing in the main building here. A lot of this is stuff that was already here. I did add a few things, however. Uh, for example, on the left, I put that little box of components there. And then on this counter here in the middle, I added some cams and some tools you would use to create cams. Um, there's some other stuff on the shelves, but before we look at that, let's take a look at the uh, chem manufacturing. So you can see the chem station as well as some components for building chems. Got a little lounge area so you can test them out. And somewhere to sleep if you had too much. So we come out here and of course, you know, a meat bag. As well as some chems and a skull. And someone is very proud of the death claw they killed. And that brings us to something that every raider dungeon in the game has and that is the throne room now i have a whole video on how i put this throne room together if you guys are interested in that check it out on the channel here we have some skyrim themed power armor i thought it was a really good fit for this settlement so i went ahead and put it in there as well as a few prisoners off in the corner I really love the way this turned out. I think it looks great. And of course we have a steamer trunk here. They have those at the end of every dungeon. Well, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or thoughts on how I could have improved this. I think I'm off to Starlight Drive-In and Overland Station next. So if you want to be notified when those go live, go ahead and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you soon and enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.